Here with a reaction is the host of Making Money on Fox Business, Charles Payne. Welcome, Charles. So they've, yeah. they've paused these payments, I think, like seven times. Now it looks like they want to do something. Is this just to win back these young people who are mad about gas prices and inflation? That's part of it. That would be the White House's angle. Progressives, though, their angle is something different. Progressives have hijacked the pain and suffering of black Americans for everything that they want to push. Mm -hmm. And it's despicable. Must stop now. I'm going to say something very vulgar to the progressives. Stop pimping black people. Okay? Now, here's the deal. Let's go through this in three ways. First and foremost, why would anybody in this country want to forgive student loan debt? 71% of folks with professional degrees have student loan debt. You know how much they make over a lifetime in earnings? 3.6 million. Doctoral, 3.3 million. Master's degrees, 2.7 million. If you have less than a high school degree, you make about 900,000 a year throughout your lifetime if you're lucky. Why the hell would someone who got a, dropped out of high school, only has a high school degree, pay the loan of someone who's gonna make $3.6 million in their lifetime. So right then and there, it's nonsensical, it's unfair, and it's stupid. All right, point number two. Who owns this loan, this, this, this debt? 59% Asian students, 67% Hispanic, 70% white. Where is the racial justice? Where is the racial justice that she is talking about? Let's go to her, her district. I checked out her <laughs> district last night. 4.8% black people in her district. Who is she really helping in her district? That's correct. 73% white, over 60% graduation rate, more than double the national average. It is a gift to her white donors. One more thing, let's go this. Who are her donors? Try Microsoft, number one donor. You know how many black people work for Microsoft? You can go down to the next train station and find more. 3% are managers. It's one of the largest corporations in the world. Now, here's the problem. They keep saying, well, black people have more of a percentage. You know, it's harder to pay it back. That's not the, that's not the, the, the college loan. That's society. That's Microsoft. That's progressive corporations who will write a check to a bogus organization and buy a $6 million house instead of really hiring people, training people. They're the ones who don't believe in black people. Microsoft, the people that progressive are, are, are protecting. The whole thing is a sham. It must it must stop. But here's the reason why. Have you ever asked yourself, why hasn't it stopped? If it's so easy for progressives and Biden, why haven't they signed off on this yet? Why? Try that the federal government, Biden, is making $23 billion a year off the interest. Yeah. So it's a pretty big economic decision. Okay, you want to forgive $1.5 trillion? You just want to make it go up in smoke? Okay, and then on top of that, $23, $25 billion a year in interest? Listen, it's an economic disaster. It's a farce. You can't tell me on one hand we're going to help people go to college and on the other hand tell me college doesn't pay for itself. You can't have it both ways. One has to be correct. One has to be correct. Well, co college tuition is definitely inflated. Of course and it's so inflated. It became inflated when the government got involved. Exactly. When, they kicked, when President Obama kicked the private sector out, when, when a banker would look at your, 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 your application and say, okay, you want a four-year degree in pottery, and you want to pay $200,000 for it. The bank can't approve it. That's right. So President Biden, Obama said, okay, we'll take it over. Yeah. Here we are now, $1.5 trillion later, and they want every American to pay, again, prof a professional degree, $3.6 million. You know, I have five it's buddies over. It's called redistribution, Charles. That's it is called what redistribution. It is. That's what it, it is. is. That's what socialism is. I but, have, it, but you're right, it skews to the professional class. It, of course it does. Yeah. I have five friends over to watch the fight this Saturday. Let me tell you, uh, one just retired from construction, nice pension, fun, for, funding his 401k. One's driving a bus for 40 years in New York. No, neither one of them have degrees. Another's a sales professional. He makes over, you know, makes six figures a year. Only one guy there had a college degree, and he paid his off years ago. Not one of them talked about, they were all black men in their 50s or early 60s. None of them talked about racial justice being paying off student loans. They were worried about their grandkids, particularly in these large progressive cities that don't seem to get anywhere. Yeah. If you want to ever really justify this, I would say to the congresswoman, talk to your donors. Why they're not helping the people in these cities the right way. Talk about the education that leaves these kids un unable to get a real competitive job. Yeah. And don't put them in college when A, they're not prepared for it, and B, you're telling me it doesn't work anyway. Yeah, great. All great points. Yeah. Charles Thank Payne, you. thanks for joining us this morning.